hey guys this is up to be kenshin and the 1.5 chinese live stream just got over and damn it was so good they revealed so much stuff and also is something which is quite special so without wasting any time let's start all right so first of all we have two new characters first is yula second is yanfi i'll show you the yula trailer right now All right, so that was it for the Eula trailer, and not gonna lie, she looks hot. She looks fucking amazing. I like her character, and that's because I also like Claymore characters. I like Bedo as well, and she does resemble her a bit, not much, but yeah, both of them are Claymore characters, and I like both of them. I'm pulling for her. I'm telling you right now. Do I get her? That's another question, but I am pulling for her. All right. Next we have Yanfi trailer. She also looks amazing, but I'm not much of a fan because I'm not a fan of Catalyst users in general. But she looks very amazing, and her attack patterns are also kind of like Klee. She looks like the elder version of Klee, but no, she isn't. Next up, we have the new weekly boss. I don't know how to pronounce his name, and I'm not going to try it. I am just going to show you the trailer. All right, so that was the new weekly boss, and not gonna lie, he looks fucking big. He's so big. I think he is going to be one of the toughest bosses, like the toughest weekly boss from all of the three: the Valen, Child, and Wolf. He's going to be one of the toughest bosses. Next up, we have the new artifact sets. So we have two new artifact sets: Tenacity of the Melilith and Pale Flame set. The tenacity of the Melilith set looks like a Zhongli set to me, and the Pale Flame set looks like a Yula set to me. I don't know why; it's just a prediction. Not sure. Take it with a grain of salt. All right. Next up, we have the events. So, event one: the Energy Amplifier event, and with this, we get a free Diana. Next, we have the Torrent of Familiarity. I know the translation is not quite correct. But basically, it is the talent book event in which we get two x materials, two times materials for twenty resin. Basically, the same as the layer and drop event in which we were getting two times the materials for the same resin cost. This is basically that. Next, we have the maze front event. 
this i am hyped for because in this we would have to use the characters given to us by the system and we would have to solve some puzzles inside a maze it's going to be interesting we don't have to use our characters the characters will have predefined levels predefined talents and everything and we would have to use them to solve some maze puzzles and all that all right event four we have some elam must given basically this is the helichural event and basically we are going to learn helichuralian now i guess yeah this event will involve us learning helichuralian and i guess also fighting the unusual helichural not sure we'll see what happens event five here we have the hide and seek event and i am also excited for this one we have two people the hunter and the ranger it's written here so i'm going to go with that so the hunter basically is the one who will be finding the other players and the ranger in this case can hide himself basically he can camouflage he can turn himself into some objects so that the hunter can't catch him but the hunter has some special abilities through which he can detect through your camouflage magic and all that so yeah this is going to be really fun with your friends one part five is looking very good so far and guys are you ready for the cream of the crop now this is going to blow your fucking minds i'm telling you right now next up we have something which no one was expecting and this took everyone by surprise any guesses what it is all right i'll tell you here oh my god we have our first look at inazuma and raiden we have raiden here as you can see she is raiden and then we have inazuma this is the inazuma castle and oh my god it looks so fucking gorgeous i can't wait for it and let me tell you one thing one minute one note disclaimer inazuma is not coming in 1.5 this is just a preview i suspect that it will come around 1.7 or 1.8 because in 1.6 we will probably have the chasm i'll show you some screenshots of the preview second screenshot of inazuma and this looks beautiful oh my god i'm falling in love yeah as you can see beautiful beautiful screenshots beautiful scenery and i don't know what this is but this looks epic 1.7 i guess it will be inazuma and it's going to blow our fucking minds off it's going to be that good all right guys that's it for this video i have covered everything that happened during 1.5 live stream and if you like the video then make sure to subscribe like comment and i will see you all in the next one goodbye